Everything's gonna be okay no matter what you pick. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Skyrim Special Edition. This is not my, uh, Khajiit. This is just a generic Nord that I made. He looks kind of like Rayloff. I'm trying to decide which edition of Skyrim that I would, uh, like to do on the channel. Obviously, the special edition offers some upgraded graphics. The trees are looking pretty nice. The mountains are looking pretty nice. However, it does not offer all of the, uh, mods that are available on the Steam Workshop, which is not very nice. It's kind of good to swim through the water because, uh, my Khajiit refuses to do so. But, I, I have this, uh, this contest going on in my mind that, uh, leaves me at, at a great impasse. I will miss mods such as, uh, sneak tools and obviously the inventory sorter. What is that? Sky UI, I believe it's called. But, Special Edition is damn pretty. Looks damn fine. Look at the fog effects up on the mountain and things like that. It runs pretty well on my computer. Uh, I'm running a GTX 970 at the moment. And uh, I just wanted to make this character, this video kind of out of character in order to ask my audience what they would like to see. Obviously, there are a lot of cool mods and things. Um, I put a lot of work into modding the original Skyrim. However, the mods that are available for Skyrim Special Edition are currently only the mods that are uh, posted on Bethesda.net, so only Bethesda-approved mods. I have added things like these signposts, which uh, come in relatively handy. There's a lot of expansions to the towns and things like that. There's also uh, a few new spell mods, which of course I couldn't live without. I'm getting tired of using the same old fireball spell for my Khajiit. But, um, it definitely doesn't offer the variety that the original Skyrim would offer were I to pick that one. So, definitely a, a quandary in my mind, but I don't think you can really go wrong either way. Skyrim always looked uh, extremely pretty, but now it just looks even more gorgeous. I'm pretty amazed with uh, how this has turned out, to be quite honest. I'm also quite glad that uh, Bethesda decided to give the special edition to anybody who had all of the DLC add-ons because I had bought those during a, a Steam sale, or rather I bought the Skyrim Legendary Edition during a Steam sale for like twelve fifty at the behest of my roommate who has played like 200 hours of it. And I put in about 60, um, definitely not as much as I put into Oblivion, which is around 200, but I know enough about the game to, uh, know how Brandar's story will end, and I won't spoil whether it's going to be happy or sad, I will just leave that up to you. Uh, if you have some ideas, I would, I would be glad to hear them, um, although, yeah, it's already set in my mind. But like I said, the uh, choice between original Skyrim or special edition Skyrim is not set in my mind. So that is what I would like to hear from you in the comments, if you do have any opinion at all. Obviously, uh, yeah, the mods. Sneak Tools mod. Oh my god, I'll miss the shit out of that. You can shoot like a, a rope, climb the rope and shit. Oh, that was so useful. But uh, this is more of a vanilla version. I don't know if that's a bad thing. I don't know if that's a good thing. I'm sure more mods will be released eventually that will allow me to uh, customize the game just a little bit more. And I probably wouldn't uh, mind slipping those in. And, you know, I can't come out of character and say that I did it unless I do it in a really sly way. But Brandar is uh, quite a sly kitty, if you know what I mean. So, hopefully that's, uh, that's what'll happen. I really do want to get some of those other mods in here. Diverse dragons, oh my god, that was such an awesome one. You'd have like feather dragons, shadow dragons, ice dragons, and uh, the dragons in this Skyrim seem to be just the, uh, the regular dragons that are available when you start the game. Um, vanilla, vanilla-ish. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a corpse. <laughs> 
<sighs> I'm dumb. I'm gonna hang out in the little pool. Hope no bandits come. Not that I really have much stuff to take at the moment. The inventory system, obviously, uh, not the greatest thing. I will miss Sky UI and things like that. But for the uh, extra exposure that Skyrim Special Edition will offer, I think I should probably take the hit. That is my thinking, um, just that people will be looking for it on YouTube. And while I won't have the actual roleplay going for probably another couple weeks yet, uh, because I have to do the the interim fallout that has become a part of the series. I don't know if people were drawing that line, but yes, they are indeed the same storyline. I think I can say that now since I'm all out of character and whatnot, just kind of wandering around. Not really doing a whole lot, just kind of uh, enjoying the sights of the outdoors. I don't know that it's uh, such a marked improvement, marked improvement, but it does definitely make a difference. I think, uh, with the the resolution packs that I have and the texture upgrades for the trees and the grass, old Skyrim might be on par. Might be. But I, I, I just can't make that call for sure. This is really, really nice with the fog effects and the light effects are obviously done up a little better as well. And uh, there were also some, some spell packs that I was not able to find for the original Skyrim that are implemented in this one. So, still, yeah, bouncing back and forth in my head. I just wanted to uh, come right out and question. Hopefully get some answers for, for my questions. But um, yeah, if you have no opinion, I'd like to hear that as well, just because who, who could uh, disparage either one of the Skyrims? I'm really, really glad to, uh, to have this in my library. Definitely saved me $60 because this is something that I was considering buying. So thank you very, very much to Bethesda. I would also like to thank all of the subscribers who have been following the roleplay series so far. It will come to an end someday. I know how it's going to end, um, but getting there is, is the difficult part. I want to do it in a good amount of time, but not too much time. I do think that I spent a little too much time in Morrowind. Um, so I spent a little bit less time in Cyrodiil, and we'll probably spend about the same amount of time in Skyrim. There's just so much to do in the game, hundreds and hundreds of hours. I could make it a 300 episode uh, thing if I were so inclined, but I don't know how far people's interest with that goes. and. On top of that, um, there are other characters and other stories that I feel that I should be telling. So I, I have a, another roleplay rolling around in the back of my head, so you guys will look forward to that. But first we must finish the tale of Brandar and his uh, elusive brother, and also his elusive, uh, his elusive will to do anything. <laughs> he's, he's not a very committed kitty. I will say that much. One of my n next characters is going to be uh, a bit more mm, valiant, should I say? That's not a nice thing to say. Brandar's plenty valiant, but uh, he does it for perhaps the wrong reasons. Some people have pointed out that he's a little bit selfish, which uh, fits well into the character of a Khajiit. The next character I play will not be a Khajiit. I will not discuss any further. Um, I do know the race and things like that, but I, I think it's better to leave it a mystery. The only thing that is uh, uh, still a mystery to me is Skyrim versus Skyrim Special Edition. So please leave your comments below, friends. Let me know what your opinion is. I value it highly. I value all comments very highly, but um, yeah, this is something that's been sticking in my craw all day. Um, I did spend a lot of time modding the original Skyrim and was pretty happy with how it turned out. But, yeah, it doesn't really compare to this. That is so fucking sexy. Oh my god. There we go. Just had to turn off the crosshair for a second so I could get a screenshot and, uh, stick that on my thumbnail. <laughs> Anyhow, I think that I've- Whoa! Did that horse just die? 
obviously still some glitches, <laughs> even in the beauty of the new Skyrim Special Edition. But, um, yeah, probably nothing that you wouldn't find in the original Skyrim. So, a horse falling from the sky doesn't quite sway me. Not yet. Um, I hope some comments will help to break the tie and uh, ease this trouble in my mind and tell me everything's going to be okay no matter what you pick. But uh, I know that, yeah, more exposure with Special Edition is probably probably what I'm leaning towards. Uh, although, again, I will miss the mods. I've repeated myself far too many times, friends. I thank you if you've watched the video this far. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I will send you a box of matches. There are approximately 30. There's strike anywhere, so uh, you can strike among your pants if you're lost in the wood. Or you lose the box. Or whatever. Ah, I can't wait to get lost in the woods with you, friends. I'll see you in the roleplay, in character, as Brandar. And until the next time, friends. Bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.